Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explain, the show where we describe and explain every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a professional photographer based in West Sussex, England. Now we have a few things to cover before we start. First of all, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, click on the code there and get the sample files before we start. Number two, if you don't own Luminario, make sure that you use the link in the description and also use our discount code Clever Photographer to get additional 20% discount. Finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on the video and also share it and subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. Now in today's tutorial, we are looking at the essential tools, which are otherwise called in Luminar Neo, the essentials. And inside of the essentials, specifically we're looking at Enhance AI tool. So let's go in the edit module right here in Luminar Neo. Let's have a look at our essentials and let's jump into Enhance AI. Now the Enhance AI actually cover two AI tools. One it's called Accent AI and one it's called Sky Enhancer AI. So first of all, let's have a look at the Accent AI and let's have a look at the definition of it. So the Accent AI actually use more than 12 different controls to improve your photo. Now the tool uses controls like shadows, highlights, contrast, tone, saturation, exposure and details to really create naturally beautiful results. Now the second tool here is called Sky Enhancer AI. The Sky Enhancer AI performs the necessary improvements to recover details and improve the texture of the sky and clouds. The tool actually uses brightness, contrast, saturation and vividness to do this. Now it's designed to work for most type of skies, however it's important to remember that it does not work for night skies. So those are the kind of definitions of these tools and now let's jump into the application and let me show it, show it to you on some real examples. So to start with we're going to go into the catalog and here we have a three images. Once again if you want to use these sample files make sure that you head into the description and follow the link there to download them so you can join me. So first of all let's use this image right here and let's move into edit module. Here inside of the edit module, on the right, you can see all the tools. Once again, we are in Essentials and we are in Enhance AI. So let's have a look at the accent first of all. Let me show you when I slide it all the way and keep watching mostly this part of the image uh, and how all the colors, vividness, the shadows open, the brightness comes. Also at the same time, the sky is popping up a little. And really anytime you're gonna use the sliders, we really suggest to go all the way to see the result to its full maximum and then adjust it back to what you really like. So this is when we use this slider on an image like this. And it's also important to remember that this image is JPEG. Now, some of the tools we're gonna use in the future are maybe more designed for RAW files. However, the Enhanced AI will work perfectly fine for JPEGs as well as RAW files. So as you can see the accent, once again, using tools and controls like shadows, highlights, contrast, tone, saturation, exposure, and details to improve your photo. So that's a one example right here. Let's go back to the catalog and let's use this photo as well. Let's go back to the edit and let's go to the enhance again and let's push the enhance and see what it does. So you can see how the brightness coming out. You can see how the shadows are opening, how the highlights are working and you can see how the exposure is working as well. So the result afterwards is really, really cool. You can also see how the details are popping up. So this is basically before and this is after and I think the difference is huge. And let's do a final example and this time we're working in a RAW file. Now usually when I work with a RAW file uh, in Lumiar Neo I do certain adjustments before I'm going to use the Enhanced AI. So I usually do adjustments in the develop module where I do my highlights, shadows, um, white balance and so on. And only once I'm done inside of a develop module then I move into the Enhanced AI. And this is where we can really push it. So we can push the accent 
And when we're working with the raw file, I hope you can also notice how it also applies the effect to the actual sky. It's not necessarily just the foreground and the middle ground, but it also works with the sky. Let me show you before when I slide it down a little. Now, because it's a raw file, the processing takes a little bit longer, but the result is really still very powerful. So this is before, this is after. Let's slide it a little bit further again. Let me show you before and after so this is what the accent ai does to the raw file once again if you're gonna use it on your photo i suggest you first to do the basic development either in lightroom photoshop or directly here in luminar ai by using the develop job so once again before and after you can really see how on a raw file this enhanced ai working even further with the skies and other details on the picture now let's go back and let's have a look at the sky enhancer. So first of all, let's start with this picture right here. And let's go to the edit again. And let's go back to our enhance. So we were working with the accent earlier. Now let's just work with the enhancer. So once again, the sky enhancer AI uses tools like brightness, contrast, saturation, vividness, sometimes also highlights and shadows. So let's push the sky enhancer and let's see what it really does. You can see how the vividness is coming out. You can see how the saturation is coming out. You can also see how the contrast is getting applied, how this part is getting a little bit brighter and this part a little bit darker, how the overall of the sky is also getting a little bit brighter and more define now this tool is incredibly smart really working with the objects foreground middle grounds backgrounds really applying very precise mask to make this work and apply the effect only to the sky so it's very very smart and the result is great now that was the jpeg and now let's try the tool on a raw file now just as a reminder when you work with the raw files especially when it's a big image it really takes a little bit of time for it to all load and prepare specifically when it's something like a sky enhancer where it needs to apply the mask you need to give it a moment for it to start to work to calculate all the masks and everything around so we give it a second and then we start to play around with the tool so now as you can see it's all ready it started to apply the effect already once it calculate the mask it's really fast after that you can see how i can really just simply push the slider let's push it all the way in once again you can see the work of the brightness contrast saturation vividness and how it's applying it to the sky what's really nicely visible here as well is how it applies the mask to the borders and how it's really able to select the sky without touching anything else i think this tool is super cool and very very powerful now before we're gonna finish there is one more thing i wanted to show you let's go back to the catalog and let's go to our portrait photo now let's open it in edit module again and let's go to our enhance ai and now as you can see the sky enhancer is actually grayed out and the reason for this is that the artificial intelligence cannot find the actual sky on the image well obviously because there is no sky however anytime the sky enhancer ai cannot find a sky it will be grayed out like this sometimes also if your sky is really out of focus or really blurred then the ai will not be able to um, detect it and it will not be able to work so that's just something to remember and anytime you see that it's grayed out at least you know why that is happening and there you have it so i hope you had a fun and i hope you learned something new please don't forget to subscribe and also check our other luminar neo videos on our channel Thank you very much, my name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you again in the next one.